Recently, I put out a couple base designs that utilize a technique called pixel gaps. Pixel gaps can be used to create hidden loot rooms and, more recently, hidden TC rooms. This can be great for a little suicide bunker room, as well as just having an area to hide your TC in to make it more expensive to raiders. Some people have trouble placing pixel gaps. It can be very finicky and it is a very precise process as you are trying to avoid snapping to the wrong foundation or wall piece. Today I'm going to be going over in a little bit more detail how to create a pixel gap, how to create a slightly wider pixel gap if you're having trouble looting with your pixel gap, and some of the mistakes that might result in the pixel gap closing on you. First we're starting off with our foundation. We place a triangle foundation off that and we can go in either direction, but we're going to build off five triangles total. This creates a three space area where you can place a square on the last foundation. It has to connect to this foundation, so you don't want anything here. Next, you have to remove all of the previous triangles that you've placed, except for the final one. Finally, you have to connect to this foundation. It is very important to make sure you snap to that foundation and not this one. So you should be looking up and down, making sure to connect it to that one. Once that's placed, you can place this triangle. The reason we don't place this triangle yet is you'll the reason you don't place this triangle yet is you notice there's two different positions for this triangle. And if we were to place this triangle right now, it would actually snap those together. So next we're going to place our walls right here, this wall. Then while looking up and down, we place this wall here. As you can see, the wall is slightly offset. It looks a little weird, and if you look in, you can kind of see a gap. However, there is no way you'd be able to loot through that. Not until you upgrade it till metal does it actually create enough of a gap that you'd be able to loot through. This means that if you place a box or a TC on the other side, you'd be able to loot it. Now this is where a lot of players think that they've just not got the pixel gap. As you can see, it is incredibly hard to find that right spot sometimes, and while easier with an 8x, it can be a pain, and this can cause you to think that you've actually broken your pixel gap. So for that reason, we make the wider pixel gap. To do that, we again start off with our foundation, and instead of five, we're gonna build off seven. Then again, we're gonna destroy our path. and build off the original foundation. If you build off this foundation, it will not work, so you gotta make sure you keep track of where you're building. Then again, you do not want it to snap to this, instead snap to that. Then we can go ahead and place our triangle, but again, not placing the second triangle. And when we place these walls, we should actually see a wider gap already, and it's actually possible to loot through that gap without upgrading it all the way. I do find that for some reason, stone continues to be an issue, and it doesn't like to let you loot through. The so stone becomes one of the hardest things to loot through, with even wood working better for this pixel gap. So you will want to make sure you upgrade this wall to at least metal. Now, for some reason, I do find that the extra wide pixel gap has a harder time on high qual than the regular pixel gap, and it, it does become harder to find the gap, though not impossible. However, with the first pixel gap, it is a lot easier to find it on high qual, but harder to find it on sheet metal. So ultimately, that could depend on what final design you want. If you plan on having your core as high qual, it might be useful to stick with the, the regular pixel gap. However, if you are going to stay sheet metal, it might be useful to stick with the double pixel gap. And as long as you followed that pattern, you should have an area to hide things. One way I like to maximize the space here is I'll create a shelf here. Destroy that wall, close my walls in. Here I can place some boxes for material storage as I'm only gonna be able to pass materials through. I'll throw a bag down here and put my TC here. Locking the TC, I can reach the TC from this side. I can also kill myself and respawn on this side to take any extra loot out of the TC and put it in these boxes for storage. This is great if you've been out farming and you don't want to lose all your farm and you can't store it in the TC. When you do create these pixel gaps, it does also create another roof pixel gap. It also can create a pixel gap on this side as well. To maintain your pixel gap, you'll want to make sure you're building off of the foundation pieces and not placing exterior foundations until you've created your gap. The same thing with the roof gap. In order to create it, you'll want to make sure you're clipping to the walls that you originally created your pixel gap with. 
This will create a roof pixel gap and allow you to store some storage above you. There is a second option for the pixel gap and that is the triangle and square foundation. If you're on console and you're just looking to do a loot storage room that would feature boxes, this can be an incredibly useful storage technique. The end result would be that we'd be able to loot through... The end result being we'd be able to loot through a gap here in the floor and be able to access these boxes. This can also be done for the roof. In order to create that pixel gap, first we're going to place our triangle. Then we're going to place our square. And then just exactly like the other gap, we're going to build out to the extra wide gap. Place this and destroy everything back. In this case, we're also going to destroy that square. Then building back. Again, making sure to clip directly onto this. We have now created our gap pieces. At this point, I'd like to go ahead and place two boxes here. Lock those up. And so when you place this piece, you want to make sure you're connected to these walls. And then when you place this one, do not let it connect to this piece you just placed and instead connect it over here. Once upgraded to metal, you can see we've created our little gap. You can barely notice it, but it's there and we have access to our boxes. This can be coupled with throwing a TC here, locking it up, and just making a base. However you want to implement it, the pixel gap is a great addition to any base, adding a lot of security and safety. It's one way that you can help make sure that if you get raided, you can keep something. And finally, we have the double triangle pixel gap. While it is the hardest pixel gap, it is also the hardest pixel gap to loot. I really don't recommend this gap unless you just need to fit it into your base design, but for that reason it can be useful to know. First starting off with our original triangle, we're then going to create a half moon. Then we place our square, and we're able to place out our triangles. I'm going to go ahead and build it out to max range because it is going to make it easier to see the gap. Make sure when you're placing this, you're not allowing any of it to connect to the old pieces, so you want to destroy them before you place the new pieces. Building back, here we're going to create our two gap pieces. Make sure to connect to this foundation and not this foundation. Once that's destroyed, you can grab that. Throw your half walls down. Drop your boxes. Lock them up. And again, you want to make sure you don't let these connect, because if you connect this to this, it will not work. It instead has to connect to there, and you can see the visible indicator that you're connecting to the wrong one. And there, you can see the gap, though it'll be incredibly hard to loot. When upgraded to metal, it is made easier, and even though you can see through, the looting is still incredibly difficult. And again, I really don't recommend it, as you will have to fight with it a lot to try to get it. You'll spend a lot of your time just doing this, wandering back and forth, trying to get that gap. You'll eventually get it, but you might spend five minutes. I wish I was joking. It's happened to me.